All right, Papa D Riders, welcome back to the channel. Um, I haven't put out a video in the last little bit because I've been busy. Uh, we had nasty weather, but I've got a new job I'm trying out, and I'm actually in the parking lot of that job. I'm going to talk about that for a second, then kind of tell you what's going on with the channel. Um, so I'm going to be driving for Burke Christian Tours. Um, I'll be a motor coach operator. And so here's part of our fleet, and we have many coaches like this one here to my right. But I'm starting to work for those guys. Currently, I'm still driving the school bus, and I'm just kind of onboarding at Burke Christian Tours. So the reason I haven't been around the past week or two is because the weather has really been nasty here at home. And in addition to that, um, I had a week's worth of training up here at Burke Christian Tours. And when I'm not driving up here, I'm still driving at the schoolhouse. So I came up here to talk to these guys a little bit today and I thought I'd turn the cameras on on my trip home uh, and make a, a little video. But I'm excited uh, that God brought me to this place. I'm excited to come here and work. Um, I told my mother, I'll tell you guys, I've worked in a lot of places um, in corporate atmospheres before. And this is a large tour company in North Carolina. But I've never worked somewhere where every, every day when we started our meeting and our training, we opened up with devotion and prayer. And that was so impactful, I guess, for lack of any better way of, of saying it. And I know God brought me to the right place. So I'm looking forward to working here. Um, I won't say a whole lot about it. I'm not going to do motor coach content. Um, but I did want to say that's why I haven't been here. And it's going to be a little tight probably for me getting out and riding and making videos between now and May, um, the motor coach world and the charter world, that's the busy time for us. Um, school events are starting to happen and we're doing school charters. Um, I'm actually taking a school charter tomorrow. And, uh, and so it'll be busy. And then beyond that, they do actual tours and they are expecting a really busy season. So I don't know my schedule. I don't know the availability, but I do know that it's gonna be limited that I can get out on the bike. And I haven't been on the bike in about two and a half weeks because every day I was off, the weather was terrible. So um, I just haven't been out and on it. I'm gonna go over here because traffic is flying. Um, I haven't been out. So that being said, I still plan on bringing you guys some great motorcycle content this summer. All that to say that uh, between now and May, my time to get out and make videos is going to be limited. So you may not see very many videos from me in the next couple of months. When I can, I'll get out and I'll make us a video uh, and I want to come see you guys. But you may not, you may not see me out there that often uh, doing that. But my plan is to bring you guys some great motorcycle content this summer. Um, in May, I'll be going to the National Road Glide Rally. We call it Shark Week in Williamsburg, Virginia. Um, and there's information about that on Facebook. Uh, but I'll be going there and I'm going to document those travels and that ride and that event on this channel. And then on June 1st, I'm leaving to do my IBA 48 and 10 ride where I'll hit all of the lower 48 states in 10 days. Uh, my buddy Chris Long is going to go with me and I'm going to do a series of videos on that trip and hope to bring you guys some great content from that. Hey, other folks out enjoying this pretty day. Um, we're enjoying this weather now because it's going to be snowing in like two days right here where I'm riding. They're calling for a wintry mix and just to the west of here up in the mountains within about 70 miles they're going to have some accumulation of snow day after tomorrow so it's going to start raining this afternoon and uh winter weather's coming back it's 60 degrees right now but the high here is going to be in the low 40s on sunday and colder toward the mountains anyways back to what i was saying um, i'm going to document those travels there and that 4810 ride will end up on june 10th that's the day i'm doing my mile monsters ride um, and so the Monster 100 ride is happening between May 6th and August 11th. There will be two riders each day riding at least a thousand miles on those days. 
And the goal of that ride is for us to raise cumulatively $200,000. Each rider is trying to raise $1,000. So I've got a link. I'll put a QR code here and a link down into the description. Um, but there's an actual link set up for my uh, fundraising page that contributes to the main fundraising page. So each individual has their own link. So far, I've got $25 donated to me. Thank you, Stacy and Terry. I really appreciate that. You guys have supported me from the time I started this channel, and I appreciate your support on this ride. Um, when I left the house today, it showed that I had 1,120 subscribers. Thank each and every one of you guys for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm having a great time doing this. I'm learning a lot. But now that I've got all of you guys, I want to do something good with the channel. And right now, what I'd like to do is raise this $1,000 uh, for Duchesne's muscular dystrophy and for Mal Monsters to help these young men that are fighting Duchesne's muscular dystrophy, our heroes, we call them. We have four heroes, and it's Gavin, Drew, Turbo, and Alfie. In particular, this year, we're raising the $200,000 in order to buy Drew and his family a brand new mobility van. They don't have one of those right now and Drew is in a wheelchair often um, and so that he will feel more comfortable and make it easier on his family when they need to go to the store. You know, right now, Drew stays at the house. He doesn't go because it's so much of a, uh, it's hard on him, it's hard on his family to load him up in the wheelchair, get him in the car, put the wheelchair in the trunk, get him back out. It's just a hard thing for them to do. This mobility van will change their ability and his ability to get out and live his best life and that's what we're trying to do so we're trying to raise that two hundred thousand dollars i'm personal goal is for me to raise a thousand dollars so there's a thousand one hundred and twenty of you guys if everybody just did a dollar i'd hit that mark right away but no amount is too small and if you can't donate that's cool too but if you can and you find it in your heart go over and donate to that particular cause and help me reach my goal of a thousand dollars to contribute toward this buying this young man a mobility van and beyond that we're going to take the heroes or mile monsters i say we because i'm contributing to it um mile monsters is going to take the heroes to sturgis um and have a big party for them at the sturgis rally and those details are going to come out later if i'm able i'd like to go out there for that but i've got to wait and see how life goes how my finances are everything else to see if I can make that trip but that is something I want to do this summer if I can anyhow I'm rambling go and donate if you can more great videos to come later I just wanted to kind of explain where I've been and why I haven't been out here making videos um, you guys I hope you have a blessed day and I'll catch you guys on the next ride I'll give you guys a little bit of scenery as I go home And the guy's on a grom behind me. <laughs> <Woo -hoo -hoo. laughs> Dead skunk in the middle of the road. Y'all know that song? I could sing it right now. Yeah, it's out there on one of them little groms. That's pretty cool. Whew, that skunk stink. Oh my goodness, that skunk stink. Say that 10 times in a row. <laughs>